Merry Christmas. Happy Christmas. What's that from? It's a vine. It's an old vine. Oh. I know I'd seen that somewhere. You used to know vine pretty well, didn't you? I'm pretty vine famous. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did some Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram Twitter, Twitter for more juicy, juicy content. It's so juicy. Thank you on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter, camera, ring the bell, bell notification squad. Bang! Follow us on person channel in the description below. Two. My granddaughter finds this fascinating. What? You ready? Oh, this. If one. I just do stuff like this, like I go. She's just tripping. Babies are also fascinated by pooping. Well, aren't we all? <laughs> Today we're doing a, this is called Berkeley Indian Ensemble featuring Ustaji Zaku Hussain. Uh, say this. Right. Abaji and me, live at Harvard. So, <clears throat> the tribute concert, Zakir Hussain meets Berkeley, incorporated a myriad of musical elements from Zakir G's life's journey, varying in styles, instrumentation, and presentation. Zakir G do a spoken word piece in tribute to his father, Ustad Alakari Qureshi, considering that 2019 was the centenary year of his father's birth. This piece was only partially prepared with some basic piano motifs, vocal and string lines pre-composed, the rest being improvised in the moment, flowing with Zakir G telling stories about his dear father. Fantastic. What's Zakir G? What's it's G? A, it's a, uh, uh, it's G sir. Means sir? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, like you'll hear it a lot, mm -hmm. that uh, everything will be followed with a G, and it's, a, it's sir. G means something else here. Like, I'm a G. That's a different guy. Certified G. gangster. Yeah, here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> we know him. We've had the honor of seeing him perform live. He's our dos. <laughs> Is it dos or dos? Dos. D O S D. Yeah. The very first lesson that I received from my father Guru was that I should just try to be a good student and forget about trying to be a master. The learning process, he said, continues from the day when you come to this earth till the day you die. He told me that I should not forget that if I think that I have learned everything that is to learn, that I would have to probably just hang up my boots and retire. The quest for perfection is just that, it's a quest. It is a journey that must be taken, but taken with all the vigor, strength, discipline, and joy. It must never be work or chore. It must be something that you enjoy doing something that you love to do, something that you always look forward to.
the learning began on the very first day that I was brought home from the hospital. A whisper of prayer, prayer in his ear said my mother to my father. He put his lips to my ear and whispered, Dha Din Kridhin Din Dha Titta Din Kridhin Dha Ge Tere Kit Dha Ge Ge Din Kridhin Din Dha Ta Tere Kit Din Kridhin Dha Ge Na Ta Titta Dha Kridhin Kridhin Din Dha Ta Tere Kit Din Kridhin Kridhin Dha Ge Dha Ge Ge Din Kridhin Din Dha Ta Tere Kit Din Ta Tere Kit Din and there it was the rhythm mantra was put into my ear but my mother was livid she was like you should be reciting a prayer in his ear why are you singing these rhythms in his ear he looked at her and said this is the prayer I want him to remember. This is the prayer I want him to recite when he wakes in the morning and recite again when he goes to sleep. This is what he will be. This is his destiny. It was decided my path was set. It was already put into place. Where I was going to go, what path I was to follow, and where, in which direction, the horizon lay. Could have gone on for an hour. Oh yeah, and I would have been 
just as transfixed. <laughs> yeah. It reminded me of when we got the pleasure of not only talking to him, but hearing him yeah. uh, play. He's such a well-spoken man, um, and he speaks from the heart. He's so humble. Yeah, uh, for being a master, even though he will he not He won't agree. like that term. You know, he won't, but there is no other word for it. There is. <laughs> uh, I guess Ustaji, but I guess that means the same thing. Yeah. Um, but, uh, like, it, it, yeah, he's, he's such a, a well-spoken man, and it shows him how his father taught him as well. Yeah. And we have, I don't believe have had the pleasure well no we've we've, we've seen saw one thing it was a, it was a concert here right yes with with we've we've seen one thing with his dad it was a concert of some sort with his father um but yeah it's something special about father son no oh, yeah relationship and and i well, two things one about the beginning one about the end at the beginning when he's talking about the first lesson about always being a student. Mm. It reminded me of a, a, an ancient wisdom thing that Howard Fine said last night. Howard actually. Fine, are you taking his class? <laughs> <laughs> and he, he said, the student was with a master and saying, how soon before I become a master? Mm. And he said, well, it was gonna take you at least 20 years. He said, okay, but what if, um, what if I, I, I do twice as much work each week. Uh, will I do it in 10 years? He said, no, if you do it twice as fast, it'll take you 25. What if I do it three times as fast? It'll take you 30. I don't understand, Master. If I do twice as much work and three times as much work, why wouldn't I get there faster? And the Master said to the student, because your focus is on the end goal mm -hmm. rather than on the journey. Mm -hmm. Your focus should be on the steps of each day then it'll take you 20 years. But if your focus is on just reaching the goal, you'll work twice as hard and it's gonna take you twice as long. Yeah. And that's because the, the point is to want to be learning and going on the journey and not thinking I'm gonna reach the penultimate end. And I think maybe my favorite thing about this whole thing, he sat in front of all of those instruments that he is truly, if anyone was the living embodiment of percussion and rhythm, it's Astaji Zakir Hussein, and he was giving a tribute to the man who brought him into the world, spoke rhythm into his life. He didn't do one thing on those instruments, but let them sit there in honor of his dad. I, that was magnificent. And that, that, <laughs> that prayer his father gave him was just <laughs> beautiful. Right, right when he did it, I'm like, oh. Yeah, wow. me too, me too. It was just, and I could see it. I could, it's like, I was seeing a short film in my head and the visuals of the cards with those photographs, that was just an absolutely beautiful tribute to his death. Beautiful. Yeah, you realize how special, you don't realize it as a kid, how special your relationship is with both your mother and your father, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you don't realize it until you get older mm -hmm. and then you have kids, how special that relationship, or like uh, if you, even before you have kids, when you move away and they're no longer there anymore. Yes. Yeah, yeah my, my dad, I remember my dad used to always say to me, we'd, we'd get off the phone, because my dad's lived in New York most of my adult life, and most of my adult life I've lived a, a, a away from him. And we hang up the phone, and I'd, I'd say, uh, I love you, and he'd say, I love you more, and I'd say, no, you don't. That was just the pattern. And then I had kids. Mm -hmm. and, I'd, and then I remember saying to him, I love you. He'd say, I love you more, and I'd say, yeah, you do. <laughs> Because now that I've been a son and I've been a dad, it's completely different. It's a very different. It's a very different thing. Yeah, it is. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was great. Yeah, like it was just as powerful as him actually playing is him talking and talking about his father. Yeah, beautiful. Very great. Um, <clears throat> oh, he's here. Welcome back, Mustaji. He looks just like SRK. <laughs> Da <laughs> <laughs>